Well, I think in a way this, this interview demonstrates what, what's happening to journalism, which once it was very uh, carefully segregated. There were journalists who wrote, journalists who took still photographs, there were uh, video journalists. I'm a video journalist by trade. And what's happening to journalism, it's becoming multimedia. And also the line between journalism and technology, between journalism and computer science, journalism and data science, is, is being blurred. So today's journalists need more skills than at any point in the history of journalism. I'm a British journalist currently working in America, and I, I want to say that we're in a mo an incredible moment where, if you're a journalist, disruption and the question of whether politics are going to be disrupted. Uh, over the last 12 months, we've seen disruption with Brexit in the UK. We've seen disruption with the election of Donald Trump. We saw Hurt Wilders uh, not achieving a breakthrough, uh, as, as predicted in, in the Netherlands. And now the world's journalists are focused on France. And I haven't got a prediction for you, but except to say I think it's an extraordinarily important and spellbinding political story for journalists the world over. Well, I think the most important thing at the moment, in the last days of the campaigning up to the first round and beyond that, is to try and make sure that the French public have as much information about the choices they've got to make. Information about the candidates, but also information about policies and policy differences. I think what we saw both in the UK and in America in 2016 was that the, the public voted in both cases without quite enough information to make sensible judgments. And I think that the biggest single thing that journalists anywhere can do is make sure that the public hear from the politicians but also understand the context and, and, and understand the policies that the politicians are arguing over. I think in, in this very turbulent world, the fundamental demand by audiences for quality journalism and quality analysis is likely to grow. I think what you have to do if you're a journalist or an editor is trust the audience trust that people are interested in serious news, and build your business model on the belief that quality news is a quality product which people want, and ultimately people will pay for. Science.